what exactly makes a cat a writer's best friend? To answer that, I am joined by Gerard Brennan, who is an author that has three cats of his own. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, now, like I said, you do have three cats, and I can see one of them there. Um, tell me about them. This guy here is Amadeus. He's our oldest cat. Um, he thinks he's the boss of the house. But he's, uh, he's kind of a bit like a dog, you know? He's more loyal and more excited to see you than most cats would be. Um, and we have two more cats. Leonard's walking about here somewhere. He likes to stay and mind his own business. And then I usually see Tabitha, our third cat, when she wants something to eat, you know? So how exactly have your cats made their way into your writing life? Well, they're, um, they're really good at hanging about. My, my office where I write is my bedroom and they love to lie on my bed while I'm writing. Um, they, they always look so nice and chilled and relaxed that it helps me to relax as well. Um, and they sometimes when I've been working a little bit too long, they'll walk across my keyboard and uh, demand to be fed, which is probably a good thing because it means I have to get up every so often and take a break, you know. Um, but mostly they're just a nice settling presence in the bedroom um, or my office, I should say. They're very, very settling and uh, they always give me um, something to smile about whenever it's harder to get your writing done for that day. Why do you think cats and writers are a good duo, Gerard? I think it's because uh, cats don't really require as much attention as, say, a pet dog. Um, we also have a dog, and sometimes he can distract me from my work, especially when the postman comes. Um, I think as well, cats have a certain uh, coolness to them. You know, they're not too um, willing to show you that they love you. You know, you sort of have to let them come to you in your own time um, and to, you know, grace you with their presence. Um, and that's sometimes how ideas happen as well. You have to wait for them to come along. If you chase them too hard, they can um, they can be more elusive almost, you know. Um, I know that Ray Bradbury once wrote in his book, The Zen of Writing, that um, you should treat your ideas like cats and make them follow you. But I know my cats only follow me when I'm carrying food, you know. Otherwise, they're not that interested in anything I want them to do. They'll do exactly as they please. And the way I write, I feel sometimes that that's the way it happens for me. Well, tell us a story or two about uh, cats and famous writers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I'm into crime fiction. Um, so Patricia Highsmith, obviously, I've read her. And I also like, read, you know, I read her book about plotting suspense crime fiction as well. Um, but outside of that, she has talked about how she has had cats all her life and they've always been beside her. Um, she was one of the people that first put it into my head that a cat can actually make you feel more relaxed when you're writing, that they're a great writing companion because they'll just sit quietly and exude all this calmness and that's somehow contagious. Um, I also believe that uh, Mark Twain once said that he, um, once he knows that a man has a love for cats, he needs no further introduction, you know, as far as he's concerned, they're good people. Uh, so, I mean, there is a very rich literary tradition, even... I read a lot of Stephen King when I was younger, and he's written about cats in Pet Cemetery, and uh, his, you know, many short stories include cats as well. And I recently saw a picture of him on Facebook with a little cat on his head and another on his shoulder and a big large one on his knee, and he had a massive smile on his face like it was his best day ever. Um, and, oh, Ernest Hemingway as well. He was a big cat person, um, and he believes that cats are better than humans because they don't uh, try to disguise their emotions. If your cat's thinking something, you're going to know about it, you know, and he believes that that's a more vir virtuous way to be. All right, Gerard, thank you so much for joining us today on Showcase to speak about cats and writers. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for having me on.